broadcaster and environmental campaigner David Bellamy went back to school today in Brighton. He's the author of more than 40 books about the environment and climate change. He's also courted controversy and in 1983 he was jailed for blockading the Franklin River in Australia in protest at a proposed dam. But he's best known perhaps for his television work. His debut came in 1970 with the BBC's Life in Our Sea. Today, he joins staff and pupils at the Dorothy Stringer High School to help improve the school's green credentials. This is a very green corner of the Dorothy Stringer High School here in Brighton, and they're doing wonderful, wonderful things. Over there, they're planting the right trees in the right places, and over there, they're planting all the wildflowers that should flower next spring. I'll hold that bit. Right. And this is real hand on math, yeah. history, natural history, where our food comes from. And that's pretty wow, because in these days, we have really lost the touch with the countryside round about us. So here, a wonderful school is bringing that natural history back to bear in everyday life. Like that, and the rabbit guard is here to protect them. I've always had a golden rule. If you want the kids to learn, get them out of the classroom. And just having the children here today, yeah, watching the way that they interact with the whole experience, it, it just makes them stakeholders, it enriches their lives. It, 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 this is something that they'll remember infinitely more than they might remember some other uh, traditional form of education. We're creating more plants for their animals to like live in and eat and get stuff from. <laughs> for well, for yourself, you can see it as well. And then for other people, they can look at it as well and then, then it will help oxygen in the air as well. Loads of insects, birds and yeah, it's really giving back to nature. And butterflies. Yeah. And butterflies and yeah, all that thing, yeah. And the trees will grow and as autumn comes the leaves will fall to the ground, recycling and solving many of the world's real problems. And if that's inspired you to get involved, check out the BBC's Breathing Places project. Call on 0800 880806 or go to our website, that's bbc.co.uk slash southeast today.